Ever since 1965, when Ulf Sturter became the first European trained player to play in the NHL, countless players have left home in search of glory in hockey's top league. That's why we're saluting the greatest European players today on Life. Welcome to the lineup, the only game show where the host has to grow a playoff beard. I'm Adam Reed. Let's see what guests we've got lined up. Welcome to the show, David Kellerman. You're a lawyer and sports commentator. Out of curiosity, when a controversial trade goes down, do you think of it from a lawyer's perspective first or a sports commentator? I try and think of it from the perspective of a sports commentator who's being sued. I like to have a okay. 360 <laughs> angle of things, and that allows me to have like in-depth knowledge of the situation. Well said. You're paired up with Alex Rabat. You're a sports commentator who put his foot in his mouth big time uh, with Mario Lemieux. Could that be? My foot lives in my mouth, okay. first of all. <laughs> okay. But uh, that one time I was in, a, in an owner's box, at a, uh, owner's box at a hockey game, went on and on How'd about... How'd you manage that? Oh, don't ask me. Okay, uh, okay. That's top secret. But uh, the conversation of best player ever came up. I went on and on about Wayne Gretzky, and behind me is standing... Uh, Super Mario. No way. So that was a bit awkward. Tell me you didn't ask him for an autograph. I did that. twice. <laughs> no shame. No shame. Gentlemen, I hope you bring it because you guys are going up against a powerhouse team, Team Red, led by Ashkan Karbas Frushan. You are the editor in chief at Watch Mojo and a passionate sports fan who's traveled the world to watch some sports. Where's your favorite spot? Two spots stand out a Honda Indy 300 at Surfers Paradise because it was Surfers Paradise. Uh, but really, I'd say FC Barcelona at New Camp. And you are paired up with Jessica Rusnak, your sports commentator, that often has a few job perks, if you want to say, interviewing naked football players. Well, I think it depends which player, because you don't want to see everybody naked. That but is true. Uh, there is that awkward moment of being a sports reporter and having to go in a football locker room and interview a complete stranger who's naked. It's a little bit awkward. It little definitely awkward. is. Teams, welcome to the lineup. Over the next three periods, our teams are going to engage in a battle of knowledge and strategy on their way to creating a list of the greatest European players. The hockey pros at Watch Mojo selected 20 players who they feel are most likely to make this list. Teams, this is your draft pool. These players play their own brand of hockey, and many of the European players can be credited with changing the way the game was played. Although, all-time great centerman Stan Mikita was born in Europe, he was trained in Canada and played for Team Canada, so you won't find him in the draft pool. Just for fun, we've hidden a couple of names. Those are our wild cards, and by the way, you can pick those at any time. Now, we've also selected a player who we feel is most likely to be at the top of the list, and that is our MVP, Mario Jr., Yarmir Jagr. He's off the table for now. Jessica Resnack, out of curiosity, is Russia the only European country to create exciting players? I think there's some other ones. If you look at Sweden or even Finland, the Russian players tend to be a little bit more stern, so you don't really get to see too much of their personality, whereas the Swedish players or the Finnish players, you get to see them celebrate with their goals and also to their interviews after the game seem to be a little bit more exciting. But from a gameplay standpoint, the Russians, Ash. The Russians are they're, flashy. They're fun to watch. They are. I've always had a thing for Czech players. That sounds worse than it <laughs> intended to be. I've always felt the Czech players were the ones that uh, ultimately probably had the best balance between showmanship, skill, and uh, character. Your criteria, what are you guys going to be looking for when you're making your picks? If you've got Turkish ancestry, you're living with an identity crisis. Are you part of Europe or are you not part of Europe? That to me shows Well, character. you better solve that one real quick on this show. I'll tell you that much. I'm going defense first. Okay, so two-way players, absolutely. important for you guys? Yeah, absolutely. Excellent, you guys have now seen the draft pool. Let's start drafting. In the entry draft, each team will have the chance to pick some players to get them started. We'll go back and forth playground style until both teams have their first three players. You guys won the Dome Hockey Round Robin Tournament backstage. You get first pick. You gotta do this for the kids. We're at an impasse. Um, Already? Either, either Polish superstar Wayne Gretzky, <laughs> or you wanna go goalie? I Let's go goalie. goalie. We're going goalie. Dominic Hasek, first Dominic pick Hasek. overall. One of the most dominating players to ever play the game. Your counter pick, Team Red. I'd go, frankly, Forsberg. Okay, you go. Forsberg. Peter Forsberg, ranked number eight in NHL history in points per game. Forsberg is a two-time cup winner, won the Calder Trophy in 1995 as the league's best rookie, and had his best individual season in 2003 where he won both the Art Ross and the Hart Trophy as the league's most valuable player. Team Blue, how are you guys going to retaliate? Listen to me. If we're going defense first and we got Hasek, if you've got Hasek with Lidstrom backing him up, an octopus can't score on this team. We gotta go Lidstrom. Nicholas Lindstrom. Lindstrom won the Norris Trophy seven times and is a four-time cup winner. He's one of the greatest defensemen ever, period. Love that. All right, Team Red, your counter pick. We're gonna go wild and pick a wild card. You're gonna go wild, Jessica yes. Rosnack. All right. <laughs> Naked <laughs> athletes of the wild, exactly. That's where it comes from. Wild card one or wild card two, Jessica Rosnack? Let's do one, because we're gonna be the winners. Let's go. Wild card one. You've earned yourself Henrik Zetterberg. What are you thinking? Having won the cup with the Red Wings in 2008, a gold medal with Sweden at the 2006 Olympics and the 2006 World Championships, Zetterberg is also a member of the elite Triple Gold Club. Look at you guys. 
Team Blue, come on, bring it. Let's go Ovi. I'll take Ovi. Let's go Ovi. We're going Alexander Ovechkin. Alex Ovechkin. How many, how many, zero, how many cups does he have? More than you. <laughs> oh, team Red, your final pick. Let's do wild card too. Keep wild with the wild. Uh, Can't believe theme. you guys didn't pick a wild card. Really? No thing. All right. Wild card. Wild card two. You've earned yourself. Yari Curry. Yeah. Curry was the NHL's leading goal scorer in 1986 with an outstanding 68 goals. He also has a five Stanley Cup rings, uh, all with the Oilers, and a two-time First Team All Star. Well done. I didn't know Steph Curry's dad played hockey. Yeah, isn't that great? How does that make you feel, Team Blue? I'm feeling pretty good about myself right now. What, are you, what about Gretzky, you? Gretzky, stick boy, can get on their team anytime he wants. Everybody's content with their list so far? So far, so good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah? All right, teams, i got to tell you, you guys are on fire, but it's time to crack it up a notch. It's time for game night. If our teams want to get Europe's best in their next seven draft picks, they'll need to rely on their hockey knowledge because game night is all about trivia. Every time a team answers a question correctly, they get to draft first. The first two questions are a one-on-one -on -one trivia showdown. Whoever buzzes in first gets to answer. If they get it wrong, the other team can steal. And if neither of them get it right, the person who buzzes in first wins the round and gets the pick. David, Ash, come on up. You were talking a lot of smack before. So let's do this. Let's see if you can back it up. You ready? Right. You feel nimble? Here we go. Your fly's open. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he looked. Your question is, this Swedish player selected by the Quebec Nordiques in the... Peter Forsberg. The question was, this Swedish player selected by the Quebec Nordiques in the 1989 draft is the first European player to go first overall. Don't disappoint me, David. That is incorrect. Chance to steal. Mats Sundin. That is correct, Matt Sundin. And Sundin was traded to Toronto early on in his career where he became a, fam uh, a fan favorite. Well done. Randall Clark. Well, have you guys joined your teammates? Take care, buddy. Bring it in. <laughs> Bring it we'll in. We'll pull up the draft pool. Come on. Come on. You guys going to take that team red? They're hugging each other on the set of the lineup? It's okay. Forsberg. Team Blue, you earned the first pick. Go ahead. Bro, I honestly feel like if the, we should give him a chance and like select Yuha Lind or something. No, I say Timo Solani. All right, I'll take that instead. All right. Timo Solani. Timo Solani. Your counterpick, Team Red. Who do you like? I want Pavel Bure. You DJ Tanner's brother-in-law. All right, all right. <laughs> yeah, that's Bure. true. That is true. All right. I think he likes to be called Valerie's big brother. Valerie's big brother. Alex, Jessica, come on up here. Make Papa proud, baby. <laughs> a little stretch there. Your question. This Finnish superstar put up a record 76 goals in his rookie season. Your answer? <laughs> The question was, this Finnish superstar put up a record 76 goal in his rookie season with the Winnipeg Jets before moving on and captaining the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. The correct answer is Team Mussolini. He is also the highest scoring Finnish player in the history of the National Hockey League. Two for two, Team Blue. Will have you join your teammates? We'll pull up the draft pool. Hurry hard. Hurry hard. Thank you, sir. They'll be in pain later, so enjoy this moment now. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, you get first pick. Who will it be? I like Fedorov for the two-way angle, huh, buddy? I knew you'd make the right decision. All right, Team Red, your counter pick. Datsyuk has three cups. Uh, Malkin is still young. Sandin has no cups, yeah. but he has a shitload of points. So whatever you prefer, but Let's I need your go pick, Team Red. Datsyuk. Pavel Datsuk, this late round draft pick won four straight Lady Bing trophies for his unrivaled sportsmanship. He's won two cups with the Red Wings and played most of his career alongside fellow European superstar Henrik Zetterberg. <laughs> they have two Pavels. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have two pairs between the four and two of you. So. <laughs> teams, for these next two questions, we're upping the stakes. Instead of getting one draft pick for a correct answer, teams will win two. Also, the winner of this round can shift momentum in a big way by forcing a trade so they could take their least desirable switch and swap it out for the other team's top Russian. I'll read out a question that will require a team to place four items in the right order. Teams can choose to play the question or pass it. Being right wins you the next pick. This question is for you. Place these teams in the chronological order in which Yarmir Jagr first played for them, starting with the earliest. Before I give you your options, do you wish to play? I think or we play. No, we play. just pass it over to these guys. No, we'll play. We're going to play. Love the confidence, Jessica. Here we go. Your options are New York Rangers, Pittsburgh Penguins, Avant-Garde Omsk in the KHL, and the Washington Capitals. Go. Question for you, Team Blue. Are European players more naturally gifted in hockey than North American players, you think? No, I don't think they're naturally gifted. I think they're just... Product of the system? Yeah, I think they're... I think if you see what... How... I was talking. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you see how young players in Russia train, 
you'll understand where, where the skill comes from. It's the robots, they're Ivan Dragos. On you the guys are really there. cute. How long have you been uh, dating? <laughs> oh, there it is. Uh, <laughs> Fuck, no libelous. <laughs> Team Red. <laughs> Team, yeah, I watched what I'm saying. Here's a lawyer. You know what I mean? <laughs> Team Red, we asked you to place these terms in chronological order in which Yarmy Yager first played for them, starting with the earliest. You said Pittsburgh Penguins, New York Rangers, Washington Capital, and avant garde Omsk in the KHL. And that is incorrect. Oh, it's the Penguins, Capitals, Rangers, and then the Omsk. Um, Wait, also, he played for the Omsk during the <laughs> NHL knockout just after he started playing for the Rangers. You got that incorrect, therefore you get your next two picks, so and uh, you get to force a trade. So let's start with your two picks. Two picks, let's go, what do you think, Stasny, Stasny. Malkin? I'll do Stastny. What, Stastny Malkin? Or so who's your Stastny? first pick? Peter Stastny. Peter Stastny. Peter Stastny, the second highest scoring NHL player in the 80s after Wayne Gretzky and the first NHL player to get over 100 points in his rookie season. Stastny is only one of seven NHL players to post at least six 100-point season and pave the way for the influx of European talent. That's why we picked him. <laughs> all right. And all, the the Cubs, and all the Cubs you won, right? This is my show, David <laughs> Carroll. Can you give me the attitude? And your second pick. You want to go Gino? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. You feeling Gino? I feel the Gino. Kenny Malkin's your second pick? Still got upside. Let's go Gino. All right, that's your pick. And he looks like Shrek. Team, <laughs> team Red, your counter picks. <sighs> Alfredson has the most points on the board and Sundin. Those are, if you go, if you go based on points, but your calls. Let's do Alfredson. Alfredson. Daniel Alfredson. Okay, and your second pick? Then let's do Sundin. Matt Sundin? Yeah. Matt Sundin, Daniel Alfredson. All right, you guys now get to force a trade. Who will you be stealing from this team and who will you be giving away? Okay, how about we'll take uh, Peter Forsberg. You're stealing Peter Forsberg, ranked yeah. number eight in NHL history in points per game, all right? And who will you be giving up? That's tough, because all our picks are superior to theirs. <laughs> we'll just take Forsberg. Yeah. <laughs> who are you giving away, Team up, Blue? Uh, I'll give up Fedorov? Uh, I need Malkin. to know who you're giving away. Malkin. Give him Malkin. away Malkin. Yeah. Malkin, that's fine. Well, so why didn't you pick him first? <laughs> I think Forsberg is a better, better player oh, than so Malkin, we, so we but I feel like with Malkin, we're not exactly hurting okay, on so that. So we won the trade. That's all. Okay. We For this trade. question, the yeah, winner once the again. Trade. You rated our <laughs> team. That's you took Spicer. Sure. We'll leave it right <laughs> For this question, the winner once again gets two picks, and they get to no, go no, on the no, power no, play, no, 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 meaning no. they get to send one of their opponents to the penalty box for the next round. All right, this question is for you, Team Blue. You can cost Team Superior. That's fine. Don't worry about it. No, I'm finding a I good question offense. for you guys. You guys got big mouths. I'm liking this. All right, here we go. Place these European players who didn't make our draft pool in the order of total career points, starting with the fewest. Before I give you your options, do you wish to play, or do you want to pass it? <laughs> I'll definitely pass it. <laughs> we'll pass that. Chicken. Here we go. Your options are Alexei, Thank you, ladies. Alexei Kovalev, Marion Hossa, Alexander Mogilny, and Alf Salmuson. <laughs> Question for you. Uh, the total amount of percentage of European players in the NHL jumped from 9% to 25 in the last 25 years. What does that say about North American hockey? I think it says more that these players, they're coming over early. They're, they're coming up through the CHL more often than they ever did. Mm -hmm. So that's probably the main reason why, but it's is it, is it a step forward for Europeans and a step back for North Americans? Is that how you see it? I think so. It's, it's, it's a faster, more skilled game. That's where it's going. All right, Team Red, let's see how you did. We asked you to place these European players who didn't make our draft pool in the order of total career points, starting with the fewest. You said Alf Samuelson, Alexander Mogilny, Kovalev, and Hosa, and that is incorrect. <sighs> Incorrect. It is Samuelson, Kovalev, Mogilny, and then Hossa. And uh, by the way, Kovalev and Mogilny separated by only three points. Oh. <laughs> Kovalev is a loser then. <laughs> and Yarmir Yager, of course, uh, has the most amount of points by Europeans, sitting second only behind Wayne Gretzky. All right, you guys didn't get that I correct. You guys down, now right? have the next two picks. Who will it be? Kovalchuk, both, both maybe? Of these, both of these together. They're together. I can't draft them together. Uh, I need your pick, Team Blue. Kovalchuk, sell me. Ilya Kovalchuk had two 50-goal seasons while with the Thrashers and shared the 2004 Morris Richard Trophy. Kovalchuk left the NHL in 2013 at the age of 30 with 12 years and $77 million remaining on his contract with the Devils, opting to play for Russia instead. And your second pick? What, the, the IKEA shelving unit, Borya Salming. Borya <laughs> Salming. All right. This in your own player you're picking there? <laughs> Team Red, your counter picks. Oh, Lordy. Daniel uh, has the more goals compared to Henrik, who's the passer. We could also go with Lundqvist, who does have an Olympic gold. And he's very pretty, too. He's very pretty. Fine. All right, your yeah. two picks? We'll do Lundqvist. And Lundqvist? Who's Daniel's the Daniel. scorer. And Daniel. All right. I don't think Daniel's the scorer. I think, I think Henrik's the scorer. Yeah. Either way, he has more points. <laughs> your we second pick. With the one with more you points. need Hank A and Hank B. Daniel, Daniel. Sedin is your second pick. All right, gentlemen, as you know, you have the power now to send one of these players into the penalty box. Who will it be, Team Blue? I think we could have sent Jessica. She's the only one who's ever watched the hockey. <laughs> oh! Oh! Yeah. Who will it be? What do you think? You seem very tough from over there. Jessica. Get back there. Jessica, you're taking two for the team. Get in that penalty box! It's 
over. All right, Team Blue, you're on the power play. Let's see how you do in the speed drill. Teams have to answer five rapid fire questions. Whoever gets more correct gets that MVP. The ageless wonder himself, Yarmir Yager. Teammates can work together on this one, of course. One of our teams is shorthanded. The good news for them, though, in the case of a tie, they win. Here we go. Which superstar player did these teams foolishly trade away before they reached their prime? Question one, Montreal Canadiens. Did they trade away Anze Kopitar or Ryan McDonough? Done, easy. Question two, Calgary Flames. Was it Brett Hall or Zdeno Chera? The Toronto Maple Leafs, Jonathan Quick or Tuka Rask? The Boston Bruins, was it Eric Lindros or Tyler Sege? Question five, the Philadelphia Flyers. Was it Patrick Sharp or Dustin Bufflin? No! Matt's fucking Sundin. I'm never gonna live that down. For the record, we have 11 cups added. You guys have 12. Mm. So, so we if we had Yago, we win. Feeling good over there, buddy? Pretty good. Feeling good? That's what your mom said last night. Oh! <laughs> oh! I didn't know it was 1996 again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, teams, here we go. Let's see how you did. Team Blue, if you get this MVP. I think it's a close game. I agree. You agree? All right. Even if we don't, I agree. All you need is a tie. We're, We're going to win this. Ties I'm confident. Closest. There's I'm very a reason confident. why they eliminated a tie in the NHL. Montreal Canadiens, Team Blue, you said. I wish they would have eliminated your tie, buddy. Oh! <laughs> Ryan That's McDonough, nice. Team Red, you That's said nice. Ryan McDonough. The correct answer was Ryan McDonough. Probably the worst Habs deal of all time. Mix, uh, McDonough is now captain of the team he was traded to, the New York Rangers. Finally, something that we agree on. <laughs> Question two, the Calgary Flames. You both said Brett Hull, and that is correct. Hall is now considered one of the greatest scorers in NHL history. Surprisingly, Chara not on the list of greatest Europeans. And Cam Neely. Toronto Maple Leafs. Team Blue, you said Tuka Rask. Look at that. Team Red, Tuka Rask. And the correct answer is Tuka Rask. In return, they got Andrew Raycroft from the Bruins, who played only two seasons uh, in the six, while Rask has become the franchise goaler in Boston. All right, here we go. Moving on. Question four, Boston Bruins. You both said Tyler Sege. And that is the correct answer. Sege was shipped from Boston in a seven player deal and has since become a premier goal scorer at a young age. Gentlemen, it comes down to this. You're all tied up. Philadelphia, Team Blue, you said. Patrick Sharp, Team Red, you said Patrick Sharp. Correct answer is Patrick Sharp. You've earned yourself the MVP, Team Red. Suck it. I believe we this was rigged and I think we were wiretapped. MVP <laughs> was, of course, Yaramir Yager, the oldest player in NHL history to get a hat trick. Yager leads active players in career points and his second all time. He won two cups with Pittsburgh and is a five time Art Ross winner, winning it four times in a row from 1998 to 2001. Well done. Thank you. You more might be cups, in the game. More points, more golds, more everything than you guys. But Thank we you. have two ginger Swedes. <laughs> Team Blue, you now get Daniel Sedin. All right, the draft pool is empty and my parking meter is running out, so let's close up game night. It's now time for the final countdown. All right, so Team Red is back at full strength. Welcome back from the penalty box. Jess, hooked you up pretty big. He did, and I think that shows just how bad our competition is. Oh. We played you like a fiddle. That Matt Sundin, that was called acting. So when the lady steps away, you win. So somehow, it made you better when she left. Oh, oh all right. <laughs> Keep it for the uh, I final hope you like sleeping on your couch, buddy. Your our team will now rank their draft picks from 10 to 1 to create the list of their top 10 greatest European players. Teams, you'll have 60 seconds, and then we'll see whose list is the ultimate. Your 60 seconds starts now. When it comes to European-born goaltenders, one stands above the rest. And he never played a single NHL game. Vladislav Tretiak tended goal for the Soviet Union from 1968 to 1984. During that span, he backstopped the team to three Olympic gold medals, 10 world championships, and nine European titles. At just 20 years old, he went up against Canada's best during the 1972 Summit Series, making save after save after save against stars like Phil Esposito and Bobby Clark. Recognizing his immense talent, the Soviet Union never allowed him to play for the NHL. However, this didn't stop him from posting ridiculous numbers in 98 international games while regularly shutting out NHL superstars during exhibition visits to North America. Tretiak's crowning achievement may just be his performance in the 1981 Canada Cup, in which he posted a 1.3 goals against average en route to a gold medal and the tournament MVP. His inclusion as the starting goaltender of the Centennial All-Star team in 2008 cemented his legacy as one of the greatest netminders in history. Speaking of never playing an NHL game, Team Blue, sell me your list. You, you got to go with Team Blue. Best defenseman, best goalie, where defense wins championships. I don't see how you go with anybody else. Look at that. Forsberg and... Fedorov versus Sundin and Malkin. It's like, put up 
you know, Forsberg Fedorov versus Truman Capote and Maya Angelou you know, while you're at it. Let's talk about First your list, Team all, Red. Pretty sure we have more cups. We definitely have more points. And we have better caliber players as well. Look at their number three, Alex Ovechkin. Yes, he's a good player, but compared to everyone else on the he's list... He's a choker and an underachiever, period. Evgeny Malkin ahead of Matt Sundin. Is that a little bit too early? Well, you know why? Because Malkin has the Stanley Cup. I personally put a big priority on the cup. And uh, Sundin, first draft pick. Now, I will forever remember that <laughs> till my grave. Uh, lots of points, but never hoisted the big trophy. I will say this. After you guys picked up Yaramir Jagr, you tied up the amount of cups that both lists had at 12-12. Still give it to you guys though if I have to make a pick. Well done. It's just exciting. Yeah, it's what talking about. It's Fake news. <laughs> Fake news. Team Red, you guys still did great. Ash can't work if people catch uh, some of the fun stuff you're doing. On Watch Mojo, we're always running out of ideas. All right. Jessica Rusnak. You can hear my sports cast on CBC Daybreak. Go to cbc.ca slash Montreal. And That's around naked athletes. <laughs> That's true. Only the good looking ones. <laughs> Team Blue. You can follow me on my Twitter handle at uh, TheRealDonaldTrump or Dave underscore Kellerman. Or you can follow me in court where I work and I'll just charge you by the hour. All right. Alex Rabat. I tweet from the perspective of uh, the gutsiest uh, hockey player in the NHL, Brendan Gallagher. So if you're curious, at Gonads, that's where you can find me. A lot of fun having you guys on, and thank you very much for being on the lineup. I thought Team Blue had the better list, but hey, I am itching to shave off this playoff beard. So maybe I wasn't even paying attention. Tell us in the comments who you thought had the stronger list. On behalf of the entire team, I'm Adam Reed. We'll see you next time right here on Watch Mojo's The Lineup. Thanks for watching The Lineup. For more episodes, click here and subscribe for more great content published daily.